Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week, we're gonna do some deep fried turkeys with two different flavor profiles. Let me get you some of that. So we're gonna go ahead and get our fryer going here to bring this up to 350 degrees. Uh, first thing we did is we added some 100% peanut oil to our pot. Luckily enough, this pot that we use has a line on it for the fill line, you can see it right here. Now, if your pot does not have a fill line on it, you can simply put your turkey down in there, into the pot and fill it with water. And then you'll remove the turkey and you'll be able to mark the height of the water on the side of your pot. That way you don't, do not put too much grease in it. That's one thing you wanna avoid. You wanna avoid overflowing this pot grease onto the ground or whatever you're cooking on. So that's how we did it. We just followed the fill line here. There's other ways to do it. Let's get cooking. So we're gonna go ahead and set our pot on top of here and I will turn it up. I just wanted to move it off to the side until I got this thing on. So we're gonna turn this up. We got our thermometer in here, reading the intern or the temperature of our oil. We're gonna wait till it gets up 350 degrees. In the meantime, while this is coming up, we're gonna go in and prep our birds. Okay, so what we have here are two 12 pound, these are honeysuckle white uh, turkeys that we caught on sale at our local supermarket. And we're gonna do two different flavors on them. This one here, we're just gonna hit it with Killer Hogs AP. These have not been brined or this one's not gonna be injected. This one here, we're gonna do Cajun. So we're gonna use Malcolm's King Crawl. And then I've also melted down two sticks of butter with one tablespoon of the King Crawl in there. And we're gonna go ahead and inject this into, the, into this bird and then season the outside with the King Crawl. So we're gonna get started first on this one. This is just AP, salt, pepper, and garlic. And we're gonna go over top of this and just give it a good coat. We wanted to make sure that that these birds are completely or as dry as we could get them. And we're just gonna coat this. I'm not putting anything on it for a binder. Just gonna give it a good coat on all sides. We're even gonna get down in there and get some of this seasoning on the inside. And you gotta get the back of it as well. So get everything as good as you can. Again, we got our fryer coming up to 350. These are gonna take about three to four minutes per pound to fry. So it's not gonna be, you know, two, three, four hours in the oven like it typically would. These are gonna go pretty cook, quick. They're gonna be nice and crispy and really juicy. So we're gonna let that guy sit. We're gonna come over to this one and we're just gonna start injecting. We're gonna to try to get our injection in both of these breasts and in some of this dark meat. So we're just gonna come along here Get in there and you can see that breath blowing up. You wanna pull that injector out as you're injecting it. This is a pretty simple one. You can buy the injections in the grocery store. I think they're like a Creole brand. Uh, use whatever you want. I'm not a real big fan of those. I don't like the flavor on them. But this is just straight butter and a tablespoon of that King Crawl. Again, three to four minutes per pound. These guys are probably gonna take about 45 minutes tops to deep fry. We got it all injected. Now we're gonna give it a shot of this King Crawl Cajun seasoning. Just get it good and covered, nice even coat. We're gonna let these sit here for about 15 more minutes until our oil comes up to temperature. And we're gonna cook these, of course, one at a time. <laughs> And we're gonna give them a taste, see which one we like best. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get our turkey here with just the AP ready. We got this stand that we're just gonna stick right up through here. And this is gonna be our holder that we're gonna set the bird down in there with. So we're gonna set him up like that. We're gonna take this guy outside and we're gonna use our hanger here to lift him in. We're gonna drop it real slow. When we go outside, we'll show you how we're gonna turn off the gas 
while we're dropping this in to prevent a fire. Okay, so we have our peanut oil at 350. I'm gonna grab a pair of uh, cotton gloves real quick so I don't get burnt. We're gonna shut the gas off on this so when we drop it in, if there's any chance that it overflows a little bit, we're, we're gonna prevent a fire. So we'll shut it off, we'll get the bird in there, get it cooking, we'll start the gas back up. We're gonna grab some cotton gloves, we're gonna put this thing in the grease. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pull our thermometer out, we're running right at 350. I'm gonna set that off to the side. I'm gonna cut this gas off. We're gonna hook it, like so. We're gonna lower this thing down in there nice and easy. We got her in there. I'm going back in with my thermometer because I want to maintain around 350 degrees on this cook. We're going to set a timer, get this started back up, and we're going to check it about 45 minutes in. Okay, we are at, right at about 40 minutes. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to check this thing. I got my instant read thermometer. It's going to go into that breath. See, we're at 148 right there. We're looking for 165, come down in here, 142. So we probably got at least another 15 minutes on this. We're gonna drop her back down in. She sure looks pretty and it smells amazing. See you back here in about 15 minutes. Okay, so we hit our 165 in the breast. On this guy, we're about 180 on the dark meat. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. I've shut the gas back off. So we're just gonna go ahead and lift this guy up out of here. You wanna drain this grease down and let it get out of there so it's not pulling up on whatever you're putting it on. So we're just gonna bring this back up real slow. I'm gonna steady it a little bit with my other hand. Wear gloves when you're doing this. I'd recommend wearing the long gloves that go all the way up your arm. The ones I have are in my cook trailer, so I couldn't do that today. So we're gonna just shake this just a little bit. We're gonna set it back over here on our clean pan. And we're going to take this inside and let it cool. We're going to start our grease back up because we're going to put our Cajun turkey in the fryer. Okay, we're going to go ahead and stick our Cajun bird down in the, the hot oil. We're going to go ahead and shut this off again first. We're going to hook onto this guy. We're going to lower this guy in real slow again, just like we did the last one. Again, this is the one we injected with the Cajun butter. Boom. So we're down. We're going to go ahead and turn the gas back on. I'm going to let her cook. We'll check it in about 40 minutes. I'm going to pull this leg off first. And again, this is the one that we just seasoned on the outside. There was no injection. We're going to go ahead and try to cut right back along this. Pull this guy out of here. Ooh, see how nice and juicy that is? Man, that looks good. It is smoking hot, y'all. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to cut this breast off. It'll stay still. Get a slice of this guy. You can see, nice and juicy. Get a few slices of this. Give it a try. Yeah. See how this turns out. Again, you can see the juice just pouring out of that thing. Mm -hmm. Dripping off my hand. Just enough salt, pepper, garlic. Mm. 
This is excellent. I'm really looking forward to trying that Cajun one, the one we injected, but this is excellent. Really easy, about 50 minutes to cook. Again, it was a 12 pound bird, just seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic. Good stuff. So while I'm eating, we're also waiting for that other bird to get done cooking. We're gonna come back, do the same thing. We're gonna let it rest a little bit. We're gonna cook it, and we're gonna see which one we prefer to cook on Thanksgiving. See you in a little bit. Okay, so we're 40 minutes in on this bird. We're gonna go ahead and just give it a poke here at the breast and see where we're at. You can see right there we're at 153, 156. We're gonna go ahead and let this go probably about 10 more minutes. That leg's actually done, but I wanna get those breasts a little bit further along. We're gonna put it down, 10 more minutes, we're gonna pull this guy off. Okay, this second guy here, this Cajun turkey is done. You can see it got a little darker. That was because of the seasoning that was on it. A little bit of sugar in it. So we're gonna let this drain down. You can stabilize it with your one hand. I have a glove under there so it's not hot. Let that drip off. We're gonna set it over here onto our pizza pan. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start cutting on this turkey. I'm just gonna go ahead and crack this leg off of here. Just cut it right down through there, twist it. Got the leg off. And this one's nice and juicy as well. And this is the one that we used. We injected with a garlic butter and we used the Cajun seasoning on. Excuse me, it wasn't garlic butter, it was Cajun butter. And we use the Cajun seasoning on the outside. So we're just gonna cut this off. You see how nice and juicy this is? Got some good juice to it. Go ahead and do some slicing on it. Give this a try. Never dry. Mm. Of course, there's a lot more flavor down through the meat. It's not spicy or anything, but it is a little bit more juicy than the one that we we didn't inject, which I would expect. But I really like the flavor profile better on this one, just because it has a little bit more spice. It's not hot, just a little bit more flavor to it. Mm. Really good, nice and juicy. If you haven't tried a deep fried turkey, either one of these recipes would be great. Make sure you try us. Make sure you hit follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and hit that like and subscribe on YouTube. Get you some of that dirt.